Did you know there's a way to migrate your slick or PLC5 code to Studio 5000 Logix Designer? In this video, we're going to convert a slick application file from RS Logix 500 to Studio 5000 Logix Designer. By the way, if you're planning to use the 1747 AEMTR Ethernet adapter, please reference the phased migration video links in the comments below. One of the new features in version 12 of RS Logix 500 is the ability to select Save Program As and then select Logix Designer File.acd as the file type. This starts the migration wizard that will allow you to specify how your Logix Designer file will be configured once the conversion is complete. We'll dive deeper into those details shortly. Prior to version 12 of RS Logix 500, the RS Logix Project Migrator utility was available as a separate download from Rockwell's website. This utility worked well, but did not have all the configuration options that the built-in utility has in version 12 of RS Logix 500. The latest version of RS Logix 5 also has the built-in migration utility available. Start by opening the slick application file in RS Logix 500. Before starting the conversion, delete or remove unused memory addresses or routines in RS Logix 500. Then select Save As. Change the Save As file type to Logix Designer file. Then decide whether or not you're going to associate symbols in the slick program, assuming you had symbols in your slick program, with the alias tags in Logix Designer. The export tool is launched by hitting the Save button. Be aware that it may take some time before the first configuration screen appears. Once the export tool is launched, you'll specify the controller platform. We're going to use a 5069 processor. It's not a big deal if the processor you're planning to use doesn't show up in the list. You can change the processor type in Logix Designer once you got the converted file open. Finish this step by selecting the revision you're planning to use. Once again, not a big deal if the version you are planning to use isn't available. Make sure to select an earlier version if possible and then change it once the ACD file is created. Hit Next. Because we're replacing all of the legacy hardware, we will select the Update All I.O. option in the I.O. Migration Strategy. Once this selection is made, you'll need to select the Replacement I.O. Modules. The migration to 5069 is very straightforward with the Slick program because the suffix in the I.O. module part numbers are the same. It is simple until we get down to this analog input and output combo module. There is no equivalent analog combo module in 5069 land, so select Create Placeholder Tags. This will cause the conversion utility to replace the I.O. addresses from the combo module with placeholder tags. After the program is converted, you might add a 5069 IY4 or OF4 to the I.O. configuration. Then you would replace those placeholder tags with the corresponding channels on the IY4 and OF4 modules. Lastly, leave this box unchecked if you plan to mount the 5069 controller and I.O. modules together, creating a single chassis like the Slick chassis. Hit the Migrate button. Please be patient, as it may take a couple of minutes for the conversion to complete. Once complete, hit the Launch RS Logix 5000 button. This will open the converted application in Studio 5000 Logix Designer. You'll be pleased to note that the address comments for the bits, timers, counters, integers, and other data files did transfer to the tag structures that represent the data table files. This will happen if Create Alias Tags was unchecked. If you selected Checked Alias Tag, the address comment is still assigned to the new tag structure that was the data table file. But now the symbol name is the tag name. And that tag name references the old data address in its alias 4 property. And because the address comment was transferred to the alias, it bleeds through to the base tag. The result is that the 5000 ladder window looks pretty much the same as the 500 ladder window. What you may have noticed earlier is that the address comments for the input and output modules do not get transferred as it states in the description for input zero. Here is what happens. A placeholder tag was created for each module. It is labeled Legacy Value and Descriptions. As you can see, all the descriptions ended up in the placeholder tag. 
but they have to be moved to the new I.O. point description. Within Logix Designer, you can manually copy each comment from the placeholder to the actual I.O. point. This could take hours or even days to complete. One way to accelerate this task is to export the tags to a CSV file, manipulate the tag file in Excel, and then import those tags back into your application. Here is how this works. Manually copy the tag description to the first module input description, as we just did. Then copy the last comment in that placeholder group to the last input description on the first module. You got the first and you got the last description. You need to do this for each module in that slick system. Then go to Tools, Export, and select Tag and Logic Comments, then select Export. Open the file, adjust the comment width, and scroll down to the two comments you just copied. Select the row that has the last comment and come down 14 rows. Then select Insert. To verify you have the correct number, select point zero in column F. Populate the column down to point 14. Now populate columns A and C into the inserted space. Scroll down to the placeholder with the descriptions and copy the descriptions and then paste them into the inserted rows. Save the CSV file. Now, go back to Logix Designer and select Tools, Import, and select Tags and Logic Comments. Select the CSV file and then select Import. As you can see, all of the input module tag descriptions populate correctly. Once all the comments are straight, we can start cleaning up all the untranslatable wrong instructions. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.